Tanner, how'd you how'd you feel out there tonight? Um, I mean, I felt great from the start. I knew we had a really good plan. Coach Riley had us in the right positions the whole night. O line did really well protecting me, and the receivers just made some plays. Was it extra special to throw that first touchdown to, to Grant? And just after your, both your guys' journey and you know, being teammates with everybody? Yeah, ab- absolutely. I mean, Grant, after stepping away from the game, I know it was really emotional and hard for him. And for him to come back out, first play for him and score, I mean, that's huge. Yeah, I was super proud of him. What did it mean to you to be named starting quarterback tonight? Um, felt really good. I mean, I expected it. Um, so it was something I expected. Um, being named a team captain was um, felt a lot better, honestly, because Coach Riley and Coach Dykes were the ones that decided he was going to be the starting quarterback and stuff. But to be named captain by the other 100 guys in the locker room, uh, that was really special. It's been about 1,300 days since your last start. Did you kind of look, I mean, obviously that was in high school. Did you kind of look at tonight as a chance to kind of show what you could do? Or was it kind of just, hey, I got to keep my head down and just just win a football game. How did you kind of approach this? this? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't go in thinking like, oh, "This is this is all me. I'm gonna show what's been missing." Though I didn't really do that. I kind of just went in, head down, listened to what Coach Riley had to say, what his plan was, and um, trusted it. School record, seven touchdowns in your first start. What do you do for an encore? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's kind of hard to live up to, but. Uh, yeah. Keep doing, keep doing what Coach Riley's put me to do and uh, keep doing what Coach Dykes wants us to do. Uh, trust the O-line guys, and I'm confident they're going to put us in the right, right position. Richard, how special was tonight for you to you know, get a sack, tackles for loss? I mean, you know, this was your, I think, first extended action since you've really been, been back. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of expected it, you know. Uh, last two years were really rough uh, with my – my knee and then COVID pushing everything back. And um, I was sitting up for a long time because I was high risk and COVID, everything was shut down. I couldn't rehab. So I was sitting up for a really long time. And uh, I just took my rehab and everything serious. And I'm back to where to where I've been. And I honestly feel better than I was before. So it was something I expected and uh, just played the game like it was practice. When did you get to that point of feeling like you were back? Mm. <clears throat> I want to say, uh, I want to say, when I when I played that last game last season, um, Steve Plourd, our old trainer here, um, he pushed me really hard throughout the the season to get me to that point where I could play that last game. Even though I didn't play much, but he pushed me very hard. So I'd say I've I've been ready for about a, a year almost um, to just go play and. Yeah, so been ready. Considering your injury and then what you went through last year with COVID, did that make tonight emotional for you? Um, no, uh, I'd say that first game that I played was was emotional last year, that last game against ECU. Um, but no, it was just something I just went out there and did it, and uh, just did my part, did my job, and hopefully it was good enough. Terry, you completed passes to eleven different receivers tonight. I mean, how did you just feel, kind of? Maybe the development of the trust you have with those guys out there. Um, you know, do you think you're still like kind of finding that, or do you think you've had that for a while? How about the trust you have in the different receivers you keep through tonight? I mean, I think that just shows how much depth we have. Um, it shows we have a lot of guys that can compete at a high level, and yeah, I have complete trust in all of them. Anyone that's on the field with me, I have to trust them, and I do. And yeah. When you're up 35 to three at halftime, what do you guys talk about in the locker room? What kind of adjustments were the coaches asking for from either one of you? Uh, uh, we don't look at the score because our job is not to. I mean, we want to score points, of course, but uh, our job is to allow the fewest points. So we don't worry about the score. We just worry about not letting them in the end zone, and if they do get down there in the red zone, just hold them to a field goal, if possible. Yeah, just coming out hot. Uh, keep your foot on the throat and don't worry about the scoreboard. Keep playing. Hey Richard, we asked Isaac about his time at Oregon with you know with Coach Levin, and he said that he really likes to run too deep at linebacker. You know, kind of have a rotation there because he wants his guys to go really hard. Is that kind of maybe your kind of takeaway from this? Obviously, that was the case tonight. Um, you know, and how do you like kind of playing in a linebacker rotation like you guys have tonight? Um, I mean, obviously, I love playing and 
I would love to get every snap, but you know, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? But uh, obviously, Levitt knows what he's doing. He's done this a long time, so um, I just want to go out there and do what I can for the team. And I know I have something special to offer to the team. And if I get to showcase that, and we get to rotate and be fresh and do things like that, it works for me. It, did you feel like it worked though that rotation? Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, keeping guys fresh and yeah, uh, definitely did. Um, we're still working on it. We're still trying to get better at it. Uh, sometimes we miss. Sometimes we um, didn't catch when somebody was, you know, tired or needed to come off. But uh, we just got to keep practicing that, keep working on that, keep communicating, um, and just learn each other as a as a unit. It's four of us playing, so we just got to learn each other and figure out who should be out there and when they're ready to come off and things like that.